Well, I was a young boy, but I remember, you know, my grandparents uh, talking to us about being careful where we went, not approaching any strangers. And so uh, it sends sort of like a chilling effect to anybody that doesn't have any documents. How do you move around? How do you go to school? How do you go to a store? How do you, you know, you, you, you move around the neighborhood? I think it sends a chilling effect to anybody that doesn't have any papers, these kinds of actions that are occurring now. Because you do sort of live in the shadows. It, that's true. There's no question about that. And I, what I find now is that many people are afraid. I hear in my district office people calling in concern. They don't know how this uh, new guidelines will apply to them. Uh, people are afraid to go out during the daytime. I heard of folks that only go out at nighttime. And so there is concern. There is fear out there. You would have been called a dreamer. Had that term been invented in your day, you would have been called a dreamer. That's correct. And his guidelines seem to um, not touch the Except dreamers. dreamers, yes. But it unleashes the, the hound dogs, if you may. It sets fear as a mass deportation guideline that he sets out. Uh, you know, it, it expedites removal. It fractures families. You know, removal is not a, stre a, a straight, narrow, and narrow procedure. You know, there are families that are here undocumented whose children were born here. So if you remove the father, let's say, that family now will not have a, a father figure there. If you remove the mother or both of them, what would happen to the children that are U.S. citizens? They, had, they have rights and privileges just like you and I have. And so it is not a straight and narrow procedure. It will have uh, implications across the board. And so we are very concerned about these guidelines. But what do you say to all of the people who say there are laws in this country? We are a sovereign nation. People have to do it right. They have to wait in line like yes. ultimately your family had to. I mean, how can uh, you There are laws, and, and we're not asking for people to break the law. You know, we're not saying that if someone committed... A, a violent crime, they should, not, they should not be arrested and deported. But we are a country of aspirations. Are we a country of deportation or are we a country of aspirations? I think that's what's on the table right now. Have we changed the course of America? Are we now a heavy-handed, bullying country? Or are we a country that any, anybody could do anything, including an undocumented young boy that's not a member of Congress?